this video you have seen how to represent the relation using uh, matrix form so now how to represent the same relation using a graph so here the edge will represent the ordered pair so here there is an edge from 1 to 1 so this will be representing an element 1 comma 1 and there is an edge from 1 to 3 so it represents the ordered pair 1 3 and uh, there is an edge from 4 to 3 so it represents the ordered pair 4 3 so there is an edge from 3 to 2 so it represents the element 3 2 and 2 3 and here 2 1 so this is how graph will be representing the relation and some other terms if you see the integree of an element a belongs to a is the number of elements b belongs to a such that b is related to a that is how many edges are entering a node will form the in degree of a node so suppose for the element 1 you can observe 1 1 2 1 so the integree of the node 1 is 2 and out degree is nothing but the number of edges going out from that node. So, here from 1 you have an edge going out to 3 and from 1 there is an edge to 1. So, there are 2 edges which are going out from the node 1. So, there will be the out, full out, out degree of the node 1 will be 2. Now, coming to 4 vertex 4 the in degree is number of edges entering into the node. So, here there is no edge entering to the vertex uh, 4. So, therefore, in degree is 0 and the out degree is nothing but the number of edges going out from that node. So, here there is only one edge which is going out from the node. Therefore, the out degree is 1. And for the node 2, so in degree is 1 and out degree is 2. And for node 3, so in degree is 3 and the out degree is 1. Second one, if A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, B equals to 1, 4, 3, 6, 8, 9. And R is a relation from A to B defined by A related to B if B is equal to A square. So that is nothing but the if you take the first element, then that first element is related to uh, the square root of the second element. That means a square should be equal to b. That is second element should be the square of the first element. So find the domain range and a matrix R. So a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, b equals to 1, 4, 6, 8, 9. So here R is xy such that x belongs to A, y belongs to B and y is equal to x square. That is nothing but 1 A or it is A and B is nothing but it is A square. So 1 is related to 1 square. 2, 2 square will be your B that is 4. Then 3, 3 square will be your second element. So here the domain of R is equal to 1, 2, 3 and range of R is equal to 1, 4, 9. And the matrix representation 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9 and all the remaining elements are 0. Now coming to the properties of the relation. So the first property is a reflexive relation. So here a relation R on set A is called reflexive if A comma A belongs to R for every element A belongs to a. So, if you can observe the matrix representation, so all the diagonal elements and your uh, matrix uh, size will be size of A cross A. That is, if A has n element, then the matrix will have n, n square elements and the diagonal elements will represent A cross A. So, this can also be defined as let R be a relation on A, then R is reflexive if A comma A belongs to A, A R for all A belongs to A or A is related to A for all A belongs to A. And you can observe that the number of reflexive relations will be equal to 2 to the power of n square minus n. So, how you got this here is, so in your uh, matrix, uh, reflexive matrix, all the diagonal elements have to be present. So, you have only one choice for that. So, they all will be 1. 
and for all the remaining n square minus n elements, the element may be present or may not be present. You have two choices. So, therefore, the number of reflexive relations will be equal to 2 to the power of n square minus n. Example, a equals to 1 to 3. Then the relation R must be containing, if it is a relation, a reflexive relation, it must contain 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Other than 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, it may contain the remaining elements, other elements like here 1, 2 is there and 3, 2 is there. So, these are additional elements. So, therefore, R is a reflexive element. So, in this case, R is a reflexive relation since 1, 1 is there, 2, 2 is there and 3, 3 is there. Other than these three elements, you can have any other additional elements. That is the meaning of reflexive relation. Then a relation R on set A is not reflexive. It is not reflexive if A is not relation, if A is not relation to A for some A belongs to A or A comma A does not belongs to R for some A belongs to A. It means for some element of A, this, there will not be an element related to itself. So, you may may not be having R with the 1, 1 or 2, 2 or 3, 3. 1 may be there and some may not be there. So, here if sub example, if A equals to 1, 2, 3 and R equals to 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Here in this case, 2, 2 is not there. Therefore, this relation R is not reflexive. So, some other examples you have to answer here are the following relation or relations on 1, 2, 3, 4 reflexive. So, here R is equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4. Here 2, 2 is not there. So, therefore, it is not reflexive. Next 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4. So, here all elements 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 are present along with 2, 3. So, it is reflexive. And next R equals to 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Here, 4, 4 is not there. So, answer is here, no. It should be no, not yes. Because it is not having. So, here second property irreflexive. A relation R on set A is irreflexive if A comma A does not belongs to R for all A belongs to A. It means for no element of uh, A you will have 1 comma 1 or A comma A of that form. It means the diagonal elements of the matrix representation of R will be having the value as 0. So, example, R equals to 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1. Now, here 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 does not belongs to R. Hence, R is irreflexive. And a relation on set A is not irreflexive if A is related to A for some A belongs to A. And again here, the number of irreflexive relations will be same as the number of reflexive relations which is 2 to the power of n square minus n. The only difference here in the reflexive relation, the diagonal elements will be 1. In irreflexive relation, the number uh, diagonal elements will have the value as 0. Example, r equals to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1. On set A equals to 1, 2, 3. And since 1, 1 belongs to R, R is not irreflexive. And R is not reflexive also since 2, 3, 3, 3 does not belong to R. So, here in this case, we say that R is neither reflexive nor irreflexive. Then next property that is a symmetric relations. A relation R on set A is called symmetric if B comma A belongs to R whenever A comma B belongs to R for all A B belongs to A. Which means if for some element A 
if you are relating with B, then B A should also be present. Then we say it is symmetric relation. Example, A equals to 1, 2, 3 and R equals to 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3. So, you can observe here 1, 1 when it is. So, the symmetric element will be 1, 1. 1, 2 when it is, it is 2, 1 which is also belongs to the relation. Then 3, 2, its uh, opposite will be 2, 3. So, this also belongs. So, this in this case, the relation is symmetric. So, a relation R on set A is not symmetric if A is related to B and B does not relate to A. For some, A, B belongs to A. Example, if A equals to 1, 2, 3 and R equals to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Then, in this case, it is not symmetric because 1, 2 belongs to R whereas 2, 1 does not belong to R. Therefore, we say R is not symmetric. And the number of symmetric relations uh, here, it is given by 2 to the power of n into 2 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2. So, which is equal to 2 to the power of uh, n square plus n divided by 2. Sorry. The number of symmetric relations is equal to 2 to the power of n into 2 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2. So, which is equal to 2 to the power of n square plus n divided by 2. So, how it came here is, so this matrix is a square matrix, you have all of you know it. Then, the diagonal elements may be 0 or 1. So, the number of diagonal elements will be n and they have two choices. So, it is 2 to the power of n. Next, for the remaining non-diagonal elements, so we pair it. So, how many pairs of non-diagonal elements you have is n square minus n divided by 2. So, each of this will have two options. So, it is 2 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2, which is equal to 2 to the power of n square plus n divided by 2. Next is asymmetric relation. A relation R on set A is called asymmetric if AB belongs to R implies BA does not belongs to R. It means either AB must be belongs to R or BA must be belongs to R. For all A, B belongs to A. So, here suppose example R is equal to 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2. So, here R is asymmetric because when 1, 2 is there, 2, 1 is not there. When 1, 3 is there, 3, 1 is not there. 3, 2 is there, 2, 3 is not there. Therefore, it is asymmetric. And a relation R on set A is said to be not asymmetric if A related to B and B related to A for some AB belongs to A. Example, R equals to 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3, 2. So, here 1, 1 is there. 1, 1 should, opposite should not be there, but it is there. So, it is not uh, asymmetric or 1, 2, 2, 1 is not there, 1, 3, 3, 1 is not there, 3, 2, 2, 3 is not there, but 1, 1 is there. So, it is not asymmetric. R is not symmetric also because 1, 2 is there, 2, 1 is not there. And uh, the number of asymmetric relations is equal to 3 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2. So, why here it is a uh, 3 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2 here is the diagonal elements. Uh, so, why it is uh, 3 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2? Here is the diagonal elements should not be present in the asymmetric. So, all the values will be 0. And for the pair of uh, uh, elements a, b, and b, a, you have three choices. One will be both may be absent that is 0, 0 or the second will be 1, 0 that means one will be present other will be absent or the vice versa that other will be present or this will be absent. So, it is 3 to the power of n square minus n divided by 2. So, we will stop here and continue in the next video. Thank you.